I am eating Wendy's for one week. We are back doing another I ate insert thing here for one week video. Thank you so much for the support on these videos. It's been actually pretty crazy. So many new views, likes, comments, subscribers. Thank you very much. Shout out to you guys. And again, we are back with another fast food restaurant this time. We are doing Wendy's. I have personally been really excited about this one as I love Wendy's. Probably my favorite fast food burger place, I think. Well, except for maybe Whataburger, but they don't even have that here. And Five Guys. Sonic used to be good, but they don't have that here either. And you know, actually McDonald's is okay. You know what? I just like food. And speaking of liking food, it is 9.30 p.m. and I have not eaten all day. So I'm really looking forward to eating this. I got the biggest thing I could see on the menu. It's the thing that they show right when you pull up to the drive-thru. The Pretzel Baconator. Or as Discord auto correct it, the pretzel vaccinator. <laughs> it's the slightly less popular version of the Baconator. Pretzel Baconator. What's on it? The half pound of fresh, never frozen beef, American cheese, six strips, six of crispy applewood smoked bacon, ketchup, and mayo. I actually substituted mustard. Behemoth, you know and love, uh, and now, but now, with our legendary pretzel bun. You can't top a Baconator, so we twisted it. Oh, what the hell? My burger's twisted. This thing is 1,050 calories, which is part of the reason why I haven't eaten yet today, because I was anticipating this being very, very filling. Here it is. I also did get a medium fry to go with that, as well as my current favorite sauce that they have at Wendy's, the ghost pepper ranch sauce. You gotta get your sauces. Also, Wendy's, or should I say Miss Wendy? Mrs. Wendy? I don't know. It's been a long time. Maybe I missed a marriage somewhere. This is a sincere request. Can you please bring back your creamy sriracha sauce? That is all. Thank you. So I'm your biggest fan, peanut butter guy. I absolutely I absolutely love the creamy sriracha sauce they used to have. I used to go to Wendy's just to eat it. Like, I would just get stuff that I would dip in the creamy sriracha sauce. But at some point, they got rid of it. Honestly, it's a tragedy. National tragedy. Nothing worse happening right now in the country than that. There's no creamy sriracha sauce. Somebody hit the panic button. But the ghost pepper ranch is, is a pretty good substitute. You know, it's not bad. Gonna start with the fries. They're already a little cold, not gonna lie, but that's okay. They look a little bit sad. They've been out for a bit. I think Wendy's compared to some other fast food fries like McDonald's, they have decent cold. You know, like McDonald's, if your fries are cold, just throw them out. Like, there's no point. God, I'm hungry. <laughs> oh my God. Look at that. Oh yeah. Mmm. God, it's so salty and I'm so hungry. <laughs> this is uh, Ooh, excuse me while well, I just eat this for a second. They say like every time you eat french fries, it lowers your like lifespan by like a day or something. I don't care. Sounds made up. But even if it isn't. <laughs> I feel like people don't talk about Wendy's fries that much, but they're actually pretty good. They're always super salty. I think they use sea salt. And again, they're good even if they're not hot, which is really the true sign of a French fry uh, from a fast food place is good. But I feel like nobody really talks about their fries. Wendy, you need to get on Twitter and start making some edgy tweets about your French fries. You're getting a bad rap out there. You want fries with that? You want fries with that? You want fries with that? They're even preferred almost two to one over McDonald's. I'm not gonna get just french fries every day because that'd be kind of boring, but I will get at least uh, some other variations of the fries. Like I know they have cheese fries and stuff like that. I'll, I'll try some of that stuff at some point. I know in a couple days, I'm gonna start feeling this Wendy's. It's gonna start hitting me pretty hard, but you know what? I live in the moment and right now, <laughs> I'm having a good time. The last two of these videos we did were Lunchables and frozen pizza. Lunchables, they're really not that filling. Some of them are kind of disgusting, but you know, I didn't feel that bad after I ate them for the most part. Frozen pizza, I already eat frozen pizza like every other day anyway, so it wasn't that big of a change for me. Wendy's though, I think this is gonna be more like the Taco Bell one where it actually does start to affect my energy levels after a while. But yeah, let's try, let's pull out, I was about to open it. Let's pull out our Baconator. The pretzel bun Baconator. A thousand calories of bur, wait. What? That's not a pretzel bun. That's not a pretzel bun. Yeah, is this Miss Wendy? Don't raise me. Don't come by Ohio. We're done. She hung up on me. Yeah, this is very clearly not a pretzel bun, so I'm a little bit disappointed by that. I guess I'll have to get something with a pretzel bun later. Maybe I can substitute a different burger with a pretzel bun. But at least we have something to look forward to, I guess. We still do have the Baconator, so it's really not that big of a deal. I don't know if I've ever even had one of these before. 
bacon. There's a lot of bacon. I don't normally get bacon on my burgers, not because it's not good, it, it, it's delicious. It's just that a burger like this is already so unhealthy. I don't know, I'm the kind of person that doesn't really like to make healthy choices. I like to eat bad food and stuff, so I'll just kind of like cut like a little tiny thing out of it and be like, oh, okay, that makes it better. Like, I, I don't drink soda a lot. It's not because I eat healthy, it's mostly because I don't eat healthy, so that's why I don't drink soda. It's like, well, at least I don't drink soda. It kind of just justifies my other bad decisions. I, I kind of do that with bacon on my burger. I think I mentioned that in the pizza one too. It's kind of a similar thing. But especially with a fast food burger because fast food places usually don't have great bacon from my experience, but I don't know, it's been a while. This bacon seems all right. Let's give it a try. <laughs> this might just be because I'm starving to death, but that's good as hell. I love my job! Again, just gotta soak this up while I can before I start regretting it in a few days. This is so much meat. It's two ginormous patties and like, what did it say, six pieces of bacon? And again, again, the patties are huge. It, like, these are not McDonald's patties here. These are ginormous. Gotta try it with the, with the uh, ghost pepper sauce. Mm, I think there's mustard on this. I almost can't tell. I guess there maybe is. There's a lot of ketchup. Oh yeah, there's a little mustard I can see. Not a lot though. I'm glad I traded the mayo. I try to get it pretty similar to the way it is, but I don't know. Mayo's fine. I just much prefer mustard. This is absolutely delicious though. This is a spot with like, oh my, look at all the ketchup on that. Oh, I'm going in. Um, nom, 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 oh, nom, nom. That's some good sh Let's see if I start regretting it once I'm like over halfway through. This bacon is actually good though. It honestly is. Like, look, that's a that's a good piece of bacon right there. All right, I'm starting to get a little tired now. <laughs> Still no regret it though. Again, I will reiterate, the bacon is mostly really crispy, very tasty. Six pieces of bacon though. That's a lot. That's like more pieces of bacon than I would eat for breakfast if I was just having bacon. And I got a whole burger on top of this with two ginormous patties. This is an, nobody needs this much food. Woo. All right, that was delicious. I might have to go a little bit lighter uh, tomorrow. Does Wendy's have anything light? I guess I'll have to find out. See you tomorrow! Quasel. Welcome to day two! Apologies for that glare on my glasses. My contacts are bothering me a little bit today. But that's okay because I have a sandwich and I'm very excited about Actually, both of the things I got from Wendy's today, I'm very excited about. We'll do the side first. Queso fries! I've had their cheese fries before. I don't know what the difference between these and the cheese fries are, but they are apparently different. I'm actually a sucker for cheese fries, chili cheese fries, Fries, any kind of like fry with cheese on it, potatoes with cheese on it. I'm into that. So I'm pretty stoked about this. Let's see what they look like. I'm trying to open this like <laughs> in a cinematic way and I'm failing. Here we go. They don't look crazy special or anything, but I'm not expecting high class with my cheese fries. I think it does have like an actual queso sauce of some kind under this cheese. That's what the green stuff is, like some kind of garnish or maybe peppers or something. So let's give it a try. Oh, it broke. <laughs> that was, that was very disappointing. I wanted a long stringy cheese bowl and said it was just like, Mm, yeah, that is definitely a sort of a Mexican tasting queso on, uh, sauce on that. Underneath the layer of cheese. Want some? Want to try some? Too bad! Yeah, not too bad. I think I prefer the version. I don't even remember what it was. Uh, I had it like a year ago or whatever. It was basically the cheese fries with some kind of spicy sauce on it. That was definitely better than this, but is, this is certainly good. Kind of need some uh, ranch though. I'm not going to lie. Some ghost pepper ranch. They only gave me one today. What the hell? I will be trying some of the other sauces later on in the week, but uh, I figured for this, honestly, just, just some kind of ranch would be good. Am I crazy? This actually looks somewhat unappetizing. <laughs> but this monster piece... Oh, never mind. There it goes. Yeah, those are peppers, I think. Either that or it's a zucchini. I assume it's peppers. It's probably jalapenos, honestly. I think that's what I'm tasting. I think that's where the little spices is coming from. Honestly, it's not great. And the more I eat it, the less appetizing it gets. I mean, I'm still gonna eat it. You still can't have any if you were holding out. I'm happy to share stuff with people, but I, I'm not a big food sharer. I don't know about you guys. I always befriended the kids in school that didn't finish their lunch so that they would give it to me. <laughs> Okay, that wasn't the only reason I befriended him, but hey, it was a perk. Again, it's not amazing, but I do appreciate Wendy's for offering not just cheese fries, but various different options of cheese fries. Most fast food places like McDonald's are too much of cowards to add cheese fries to them, and they know their fries aren't good enough to hold up. I don't necessarily blame them because the second you put all this cheese on it and it sits out for more than like five minutes, it's gonna start getting soggy. I still think more places should do it though. Come on, McDonald's, put cheese on your fries or no balls. I should have brought more napkins or maybe a fork for this. I don't wanna shit on these too much. They actually aren't too bad. 
bad. I think the fries were just a little bit cold today and a little less fresh than yesterday. I especially want to give Wendy's props for not being super lazy with their cheese fries. A lot of times uh, with companies when they do uh, like, oh, we got tater tots with cheese on it. They just like throw, slap a piece of American cheese on the top and like call it a day. Like that is actual cheese sauce with cheese on top. Not bad. All right, now for the main event of day two, we have, I almost forgot what I ordered. Oh yeah, <laughs> I was originally thinking I was just gonna get a spicy chicken sandwich, but then I saw that they had an Asiago spicy chicken sandwich, I think it was. What's the exact title? Google Wendy's menu. I hate it when these websites for these fast food companies want you to log it. Oh, find your store. You know, you want they wanna make you like set up an order. I just wanna look at the menu. I'm not ordering delivery of Wendy's to my house. I do not live that close to you, Wendy's. I'm not gonna make someone drive all the way out here <laughs> to bring me a freaking chicken sandwich. Okay, yeah, it wasn't the Asiago. It's the ghost pepper ranch chicken sandwich. So so this is like a slightly upgraded version of their regular chicken sandwich, I guess. What is even on this? I don't even know. This was kind of a, something I got on a whim. Our legendary spicy chicken filet, but now a whole lot hotter with three layers of ghost pepper heat. Excited. Including ghost pepper seasoned fried onions, ghost pepper American cheese, and ghost pepper ranch sauce, lettuce, and tomatoes. Don't be chicken. Eat it. Eat it. Hey, calm down, Wendy's. I'm gonna eat it. I, I I ordered it. I bet it's not gonna be that hot anyway. All these fast food restaurants are like, oh, it's so spicy. Ghost pepper, serrano pepper, like whatever they're like, habanero pepper, like whatever like pepper is in trend, in vogue at the time. And it's like, oh wow, yeah, ghost pepper, that's gonna be pretty hot. And then you eat it, it's not that hot. Hopefully this one will be hot. I'm looking for pain, Wendy. If you can't give me that, then get the hell out. Thanks for the sandwich though, Wendy, regardless. Let's strip it bare. See what it looks like underneath the wrapper. Oh. Oh yeah, Wendy. Let me see what's underneath your wrapper. Oh, 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 what a tease. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Having a little too much fun with this. Ah, yeah, baby. So I thought this might have mayo on it. I don't think it does. It is just spicy ranch sauce, which is the sauce that I like, so should be good. Also, you know something I love is crispy onions. I love me some crispy onions. Here's what it looks like before I bite in. I'm gonna start right there. It's sticking out. It's just asking for it. This is more sexual than I intended it to be, but I have no one to blame but myself. I don't know if you guys have heard of the channel Report of the Week, but I've watched his channel off and on for a long time, and I, I definitely got that from him. He always shows the same, like, after he takes a bite, he shows it. I feel like, oh, yeah, you know, here, look. You wanna see my bite? There it is. I, you know, it's it's common courtesy. You take a bite of something in a video, you show. You show. Show or no show? Let me know in the comments. I didn't really get into any of the spiciness. Like, it's, it's it's slightly spicy. Let's actually dive into the sauce and the onions. My onions are also falling off. I'm gonna put them on. It's a very oniony bite. Well, I gotta get a paper towel. I'm having napkins. And my sandwich is dripping wet. Isn't there supposed to be tomato on this? I don't see any tomato anymore. Oh, there it is. Both pieces are on the end there. Let me re-situate my tomatoes real quick. This is probably the only healthy part of the sandwich, so I do want to make sure to eat the tomato. When I was a kid, I did not like tomatoes at all. I think the first time I ever tasted a tomato was at McDonald's, and I, it tasted so bad. I still remember it in my mouth. It just tasted so horrible. I never ate a tomato again until I was like 16. Recently, I've started to like them, though. Your taste buds change over time, you know? I'm mature now. I eat tomatoes on my Wendy sandwich, and only barely ever pick them off. Yeah, so it's definitely not bad. I'm trying to decide, like, what makes this better than a regular Wendy's spicy chicken sandwich? It feels like you could just get a regular Wendy's chicken sandwich and ask for cheese and put like the free ranch sauce on it yourself and save some money. I don't know, maybe this is slightly bigger. I, I'm not sure. Everything is definitely sliding off of this thing though. Look at this. I'm trying to get the lettuce and the tomato back on. It just, it's so slight. It's like wet. I will say not really that spicy to me. I mean, you think something ghost pepper, you think, whoa, that's going to really kick your ass. It's not affecting me much. It's making my nose a little bit runny. That's pretty much it. But I do probably have a higher spice tolerance than the average person too. So keep that in mind. If you're, if you're bad with spicy, don't take my word for it, I guess. Let me finish this up. Oh, I'm feeling full now. Oh, oh. Five more days. <laughs> five more days. Oh, God. <clears throat> I think tomorrow I might try something a little bit lighter. But yeah, that sandwich was not bad. The ghost pepper ranch sandwich, chicken sandwich. Very wet and uh, very messy, actually. More, more so than I was expecting. The spice is actually kind of getting um, uh, to my tongue a little bit. I can definitely feel it. It's not, it's not, nothing crazy. I mean, Wendy's was out there talking smack. Don't be chicken. Eat it. You know, I expected like, bam. It's just more like a... <laughs> It was more like that. Not bad though, I'll see you guys for day three tomorrow. Are you going to finish that croissant? Welcome to day three. I wasn't originally planning on doing breakfast today, but I just so happened to be out for something else this morning. So I'm already here. I might as well grab some breakfast while I'm at it. Uh, yeah. Can I get one um, sausage, egg, and Swiss croissant combo with the frosty chocolate?
sorry? With a frosty, frosty ice chocolate cold brew? cold brew, yes. Okay, got it. And where? All right, I'm actually super excited about the breakfast. I don't think I've ever had their breakfast before. I don't know if I'm excited about this frosty coffee, though. I would never order something like this, but I don't know. Maybe it'll be good. To me, nothing hits the spot better with breakfast than just like a, oh my God, plain coffee, maybe a little cream or something. But, you know, I guess I could try the frosty chino. It tastes like chocolate breakfast cereal. <laughs> I don't know about that. That's, that's too sweet. That is way too sweet. <laughs> I'm home. I ate my bag and I got my bag. I am very excited to eat this. One of the hardest things about doing these videos, and I know you all feel really bad for me, is that it's hard when I'm driving back home from the restaurant. Sorry. <laughs> I'm making myself laugh. I can't just reach into the bag while I'm driving and, and eat the food, and I have to I have to come all the way back and wait. <sighs> Please like and subscribe to make my pain go away. <laughs> All right, so I got a, uh, what is this again? <laughs> I mean, I whatever I said on the, the menu when I was ordering at the drive-thru. The frosty chocolate. Uh, with the frosty, frosty ice chocolate cold brew? cold brew, yes. I did not realize that Wendy's had potato wedges instead of like hash browns. So that's that's kind of interesting. It's a nice change of pace from the normal types of fast food breakfast that I would be nor uh, be used to. Or well, I guess it's a nice change of pace. We'll have to see. Ketchup. <sighs> Normally when I get something at a fast food place, I mean, if anything, I'm picking the fast food place I want to go to based on what kind of sauces they have, if anything. So I normally don't just use ketchup, even though I do love ketchup, especially with french fries. I usually get like, I don't know, some kind of spice sauce or sweet and sour or something. I don't know. But I do think these wedges will just be good with simple plain ketchup. This is a lot more than a McDonald's hash brown. That I will definitely say. Oh, God. This is Wendy's ketchup. She makes it every morning uh, when she wakes up in the Wendy kitchen where she lives. Good job, Wendy. <laughs> Keep it up. I'm proud of you. That's quality ketchup content. Oh, don't get on the table. Slow down. Yeah, pretty simple uh, potato wedge, but it's not bad. And again, this is going to take me a lot longer to eat all of these potato wedges than like a McDonald's hash brown or something. Maybe like the Taco Bell hash brown. Those things are gone in like three bites, let's be real. This feels more substantial. Yummy. I'm actually a sucker for potato with breakfast anyway, because like anything I can just put ketchup in is A-OK -okay in my book. This one's tiny and burned. I will still love you. Ugh, I didn't love that. Yeah, honestly, it's the ketchup that's doing a lot of the heavy lifting, but very, very good. These potato wedges are great vessels for ketchup. And we'll finish those after I uh, finish filming. I'm just gonna sit here and eat 50 potato wedges. It's actually gonna take me a while to finish that. Okay, checking this again, because I, I kind of forgot what it was. It is a sausage, egg, and Swiss croissant. There's a lot going on, and it's all delicious. Man, now that I'm looking at this again, I should have got the maple bacon chicken croissant. I'm kind of butthurt about that. Looks a little bit sad, but uh, you know. I'm sure it'll taste good. I like that it's a croissant instead of like a muffin or a biscuit. I mean, not that I don't love muffins or especially biscuits, but it's just nice that it's uh, something different. Again, that, so far that's the theme with the Wendy's breakfast. It's definitely different than other places. What kind of cheese was this again? Creamy Swiss. Okay, so yeah, that's different too. Normally it'd just be American cheese. I'm gonna try this. Mm. It's not bad, but it's not amazing by any means. The croissant is more just like bread. Let's be real. It's not very croissantish. Like, look at that. If you didn't know this was croissant, would you think it was? It's just like a soft bread, almost like a brioche or something. It's also a little bit dry. And the fact that it doesn't have that American cheese, instead it has Swiss cheese, that has a lot less strong of a flavor. It kind of just tastes like sausage on bread, which is not bad, but it's not great. I'm actually bringing the ketchup back out for this. Maybe this will save it a little bit. You know, it's bad if I'm having to go back to my Frosty Chino just to get a little bit of flavor. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I'm not going back to the Frosty Chino. The caffeine and the sugar are doing it for me. I'm feeling pretty good, but it, uh, like, what is this aftertaste? I, I, it doesn't really taste like a Frosty to me. It doesn't taste very good. It's kind of sad that I, I want to go back to just the plain potato wedges. Like, this sandwich is depressing me. I should have got the chicken bacon maple maple butter biscuit burger. Why? Such a fool! And considering my two-month-old daughter keeps me up all night, I'm probably not going to be up early enough again for the rest of this week to uh, even give another shot at it. And I could have had the breakfast bacon Baconator too. I could have gone with that. I thought maybe I'd save myself a little bit and, and just get this instead of the maple baconator. More ketchup. But at this point, I'm kind of regretting it. I basically any other thing, breakfast menu on the eye and uh, item on the menu, I feel like would have been better than this. Even the bacon version of this probably would have been better. I don't know what I was thinking. I, I can't, my brain doesn't function that well in the morning. Yeah, this wasn't super great. I definitely wouldn't get up.
up early to go to Wendy's to get that. Maybe their other items are better, but it is kind of sad that between this like fancy or whatever, I don't know what word you would use to describe the frosty chino, this specialty coffee and the actual breakfast sandwich were not as good as the just regular potato wedges. That's kind of sad. <laughs> that was a dud. You better make up for it tomorrow, Wendy. Supercharged lemonade from Panera! Welcome to day four today. You'll never believe this. I got Wendy's. I wanted to get something a little bit healthier today, a little bit lighter at least. And I didn't want to get a salad just because I don't want to. So I got the grilled chicken ranch wrap. I don't think there was any other variations of this wrap. It was just the only one that they had. Kind of wish they had a spicy version, but you know, that's okay. I won't complain at least until after I eat it and it's not good. I, I've never really liked fast food wraps before. I remember as a kid eating a couple like fast food wraps and just like that, I thought they were absolutely disgusting. Didn't McDonald's have like a burger wrap of some kind? Like it was like a Big Mac wrap. I feel, it, it, does anyone remember that? I have a vague memory of eating that once. It was terrible. I mean, I probably could have expected that one to be bad. I just don't have very high expectations for, for this. Uh, I'm hoping it will be good, but I don't think it will. And Wendy's really let me down on breakfast yesterday. That was bad. I was thinking about it last night when I was going to sleep, how bad that was. I will be ranking these at the end, by the way. So be ready. This is bringing me back to a Taco Bell. <laughs> oh no, I'm back at Taco Bell. Oh God, this piece of chicken fell out. I'm gonna give it to Azura when she inevitably begs to come into here. I also got this uh, lemonade. As you can see, I was drinking a little bit of it and then I brought it home and then my wife drank a bunch of it. So that's why it looks like it has been drank already. <laughs> this is the pineapple mango lemonade. Again, I don't really like sweet drinks that much, but you know, hey, cheers. I mean, it's, it's fine. It's super, super sweet. It's just, I don't know. Am I crazy? I, instead of drinking this, I'd rather save these calories and these sugars for something that I could eat, you know? I'd rather save the calories for a little, like a small side of french fries or maybe have a brownie later. I, I don't know. I just don't care about drinking that much. If it's not going to get me tipsy, why would I drink it? That's kind of my life motto. <laughs> not really, but really. But yeah, a little too sweet, but it, it, it tastes good. Definitely better than that frosty coffee. That, that was bad. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't get sweet coffees that often. But when I do like a Starbucks or something like that, I mean, I like it. It tastes good. That frosty coffee was awful. That was just bad. It didn't taste good in the slightest. Anyway, let's get back to the star of the show. Our wrap. Kind of sad that this is the star of the show, but this is this is where we're at in the week, you know? It really does just look like that Taco Bell chicken wrap that I got, except slightly bigger and not as good. I'm very down on this already. <laughs> My uh, wrap prejudice is coming out. Mmm. Lettuce in a tortilla. Yummy. Oh. The grilled chicken is very seasoned, I'll give it that. There, a lot of pepper taste. My burrito is pooping <laughs> lettuce and chicken out of the end. I'm an adult. This thing is like falling apart already. I mean, it's fine. It's fine. I got it to try to eat a little bit lighter because I still have a few more days of Wendy's to go. It, it, it tastes like that's what I, uh, what I was doing as well. It tastes like I'm trying to eat lighter. It's just chicken and ranch and lettuce. I guess there's a little cheese. Could could definitely be more cheese. Wrapped up in a tortilla. It's just like I could have made this at home pretty easy. You could also make burgers at home, but I mean, I don't I don't know about you guys. Whenever I make burgers at home, unless I make them on a grill. They don't taste as good as like a as like a restaurant. I honestly think a wrap that I would make at home would taste better than this. I want a cheeseburger. Do you have a cheeseburger? Can I trade? Man, Wendy's, you're really letting me down. You're dropping the ball. We started off so strong with the Baconator, which I wasn't even expecting to like. That was really good. And I feel like it's been a slow step down each time. Although I, well, this is better than the breakfast, definitely. But that's not saying that much. I bet I know somebody who will like this. There she is, what do you know? Oh, it's a good dog. It's a good dog. Do you like chicken? You like chicken? She's like no. looking out, looking away. Like, no, no, I don't really care, I don't care. I know you want it, you can have it. You don't have to act coy with me. Here. Oh yeah, she, she thinks she's playing hard to get. This is a cheesy piece, Zuby, look at that. Can you catch it? You want, can you catch it? Good girl. Azura loves these videos. Well, that was deeply unsatisfying. Uh, I guess deeply unsatisfying is better than disgusting, which is how I felt after I ate that breakfast sandwich. Again, I was thinking about it all the rest of the day, how bad it was. I didn't even mention how bad the sausage on it was. I was too distracted by how bad the croissant bun was. Tomorrow, I gotta do better. I gotta take some responsibility for this at some point. I need to pick better items at Wendy's. I know Wendy's has good stuff. I'm just not getting it. Join me tomorrow on my journey to try to find something 
something actually good at Wendy's. I like Wendy's. What, 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 what is happening? Why is it spicy? Welcome to day five. I'm pretty sure it's day five anyway. Sorry if I look a little disheveled. I, I tried to throw myself together today. It is 11.52 p.m. And I'm eating my breakfast. <laughs> and my breakfast is Wendy's. Specifically Wendy's chicken nuggets. If you're wondering why I'm eating chicken nuggets for breakfast at midnight, it's, well. Because I've lost control of my life. Take a wild guess. The past couple days of Wendy's admittedly has not been great, but I'm trying to turn it around for these last three days. I swear, I actually really do like Wendy's. The last couple days have baffled me greatly. I'm going with something pretty safe though. We are doing some spicy chicken nuggets and fries. You might think that sounds boring, but I got every sauce, every dipping sauce they have available. Honey mustard, ghost pepper ranch. Well, I've already had that. Barbecue sauce, regular buttermilk ranch, and sweet and sour. We're gonna do a test to see which one's the best. I think I mentioned earlier in the video that I really like the creamy sriracha sauce they used to have. Apparently, I wasn't the only one. While we were waiting for the fries to be done, I was talking to the person in the drive-thru, and uh, it's time for a little conspiracy. They used to have the creamy sriracha sauce. It was very, very good. I got it all the time. I went to Wendy's just to get it. But eventually, they got rid of it, kind of seemingly out of nowhere. I thought, wow, I thought it was a really good sauce. Maybe no one else liked it, so they just got rid of it. Wow, that sucks. I was pretty bummed. But the person at the drive-thru said the Wendy's got rid of the creamy sriracha sauce. I bet you can't guess why. Because it was too too popular. The one thing that I don't like about creamy sriracha sauce is that it's almost too good. People liked it too much, so they got rid of it. That's apparently the reason why. Upwards of 70% of people when they got sauces were apparently getting the creamy sriracha sauce. So Wendy's just had to make a decision. Do we cut out like all the other sauces besides like creamy sriracha and barbecue because it was messing up their inventory? So instead they just asked the creamy sriracha sauce. What the hell, Wendy? Bring it back! Anyway, one of these sauces better be as good. All right, let's pull out our bags. Now, if this isn't a healthy, nutritious meal, I don't know what is. All right, Let's just start with honey mustard. Why not? Try right, with a fry. Very, very strong mustard seed flavor. That can be either a good or a bad thing, depending on how much you actually like mustard. Try with chicken. Yeah, that's actually like super strong mustard flavor. Like you can really taste the mustard seed. I can't decide if I like that or not. I mean, I like mustard, but that's kind of a lot. It does have a nice mature flavor to it though. This is where I'm gonna start ranking them. Next, we'll try the buttermilk ranch. Frenchy fry into the ranch. What is in this that makes it taste different from like regular ranch you get at the grocery store? The answer is a lot of stuff. A lot of different things. Um, okay, so this is best or worst. I'm gonna move buttermilk ranch above the honey mustard. Oh, I didn't try it with the chicken. I feel like it'll be even better with the chicken. Mm hmm. It stays there. Mmm. I'm gonna do the ghost pepper ranch now. I wanna compare it directly to the buttermilk ranch. This is my favorite sauce that they have currently, as you could tell throughout this video. This chicken nuggets are actually kinda spicy. Mmm. Chicken, yeah. That's what I thought. Okay, here's the two I'm really most curious about. I normally love barbecue sauce, but fast food places don't tend to have good barbecue dipping sauces to me. I don't know if I've ever had Wendy's though. I'll try that second. We'll try the sweet and sour. I feel like these sweet and sour kind of sauces are also hit or miss. They can either be really good or not that great. If it was sweet and like chili, I like sweet and chili. I don't know if I'm gonna like sweet and sour that much, at least not a Wendy's version. Not bad, definitely more sweet than sour. I don't know how good it'll be with a spicy chicken nugget though. Dude, that's, that's how your chicken's supposed to look. If you make chicken at home and it doesn't look like that you're doing it wrong 100 real authentic chicken straight from the cow yep that's not bad okay gotcha i'm gonna place it it's very delicate uh, i hate it when you get the wet stuff that comes out of the ketchup this ketchup is wet no bro gross honestly right there sorry ketchup ketchup is great but i don't know if i'm getting fast food i want some kind of sauce some actual kind of dipping sauce ketchup is just too basic bitch all right barbecue let's do it Interest. You know, I think I'm putting it under sweet and sour. So this is the official peeps tier list of sauces. There you go, go crazy. If the creamy sriracha was still here, it would be like all the way over here. As far as the actual chicken nuggets, they're spicier than I thought they would be. It's actually kind of big too, look at that one. It's actually kind of crazy having this many dipping sauces. I almost like don't, it's like too many choices. I don't know what to dip it in. Chicken nuggets are kind of eh to me. I would only get them to just try the different dipping sauces like this. But I do like that Wendy's has spicy ones. They are spicier than I would have thought. And they're definitely better than McDonald's. McDonald's, let's be real. I feel like their sauces are a little better than McDonald's too. Not by like a crazy amount, but like McDonald's, I've had their barbecue sauce before. Weak. That's some weak sh 
right there, Ronald. Get the hell out of here with that. This barbecue sauce is not amazing, but it's not bad either. I ranked the buttermilk ranch a little low, but it, and if you're getting like a chicken sandwich and you don't like spicy stuff, this would be pretty good. I feel like with french fries, it's a little boring. And the honey mustard, even though I ranked it last, it's not that bad. I feel like this would be good on a chicken sandwich too. Not the most impressive thing to order at Wendy's, but you know, it's fun to try the different sauces. Certainly an improvement over day three and four. I'm hoping I can continue this trend for the rest of the week, this upward momentum. I'm gonna try something a little bit different tomorrow. I'm kind of excited about this. We'll see how it goes. And by different, I mean, I'm gonna get more Wendy's. <laughs> All right, last night at the drive-thru when I was talking to the person there about the controversy of the creamy sriracha sauce, they also told me that they have secret menu items and one of them is something called the T-Rex burger. Now, I don't know what the T-Rex burger is, but I'm gonna go to the drive-thru and uh, ask for the T-Rex burger and see if I get it. Hey, um, do you have something called the T-Rex burger? Never mind then. I don't know if you can hear that, but uh, they said that <laughs> they can't do the T-Rex burger because it has like 14 slices of beef and they're busy right now. I didn't know <laughs> that it had that much beef. I'm kind of glad, uh, but they got me something else. It's another secret menu item. I'll, I'll, I'll double check what it is. Welcome to day six of Wendy's. What'd you think of that lighting in the car? That was pretty good, right? Only the top quality lighting here on the Phoebe's channel. So again, they couldn't make the T-Rex burger. I, I told them not to tell me what it actually is. So I didn't even know. Apparently it has like, an insane amount of patties on it. So they didn't have enough of uh, meat or something, which is totally fine. I was given a second option though. This is apparently called, I believe the cheesy cheddar burger. Much smaller. This was only like a buck 50 or something. Uh, so I did get something else as well, which we'll try first. One somewhat iconic item that Wendy's has is chili. I kind of wanted to try that, but I also wanted to try their baked potatoes. I remember my mom used to always get those when I was a kid. So instead I just decided to combine them and I got the chili cheese baked potato. It's in here, presumably. So this is probably gonna be pretty inoffensive, I would think, right? <laughs> um, well, it doesn't look amazing, but you know, it probably tastes all right. Yeah, if I could have seen it, I wouldn't have ordered it, but that's okay. Sure, it's fine. Um, let's see, let's get a little bite there. Yummy. <laughs> now this, this is gonna be good. What, what, there's nothing wrong with it. It's okay. The chili is a little sus, sus. Not gonna say it's great, but you know, it's a, it's not that bad. Ah, it's better than it looks visually. <laughs> I, I, that I'll give it. It's just, I mean, I would never order this again. No way. I think it's safe to say it would have been better with just the cheese. Maybe the one with the bacon. The chili, it's just not amazing. Do people actually order the, ch the chili at Wendy's? Like anyone, any, any one of you? Have, do you order it? Have you ordered it? Would you order it? How did, how did Wendy's get rid of the creamy sort sriracha sauce, but they still have this chili. That, that, it's, that's what I want to know. There's no justice in society. Mmm. <laughs> want some? Huh? <laughs> that, I'm afraid, is going to go pretty low on my ranking at the end of this <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> Not the lowest one, but pretty close. Pretty low. Okay, hopefully this cheesy cheddar burger is going to make up for it because I'm still kind of hungry. I think this might have queso on it. I think that might be why it's the cheesy cheddar burger. My guess is that it's just beef, cheese, and queso. We'll see though. Yeah, there's definitely queso. Is that onions, I think? Yeah. Oh, okay, damn. There's onions and pickles and whatever that is too. What is that? I, I don't know what that is. Okay, well, not a big onion on my burger person, but you know, I, I can manage. Oh, there's like shredded cheese too. There's American cheese, shredded cheese, and the queso. I'm gonna get the nice queso we bite there. Interesting, I need another bite. This has ketchup and mustard on it too, which I didn't even realize at first. Let me get this pickly ketchupy bite. It's very weird. And I still can't figure out what that white stuff is, which is a little sus, I guess. I think it's just queso with the onions mixing in. It's very strange, like the, the ketchup with queso, ketchup mustard with queso and pickles, but it kind of, it's kind of good though. I can't decide if this is mayo. I don't think so. Google cheesy cheddar burger Wendy's secret menu. This website is so stupid. It's listing off a bunch of different Wendy's hacks. It has a section here for frosty hacks. Get this, a frosty hack. Dip your fries into the frost. Now that's a hack. We're hacking into the system! We're hacking into the system! <laughs> it's just dipping french fries into a frosty. That's a hack, apparently. We will be doing that tomorrow, by the way. I was saving that for the last day. Apparently, the cheesy cheddar burger is just something called a double stack with cheese sauce added. I don't know what a double stack is, but it's just like a basic cheeseburger with queso. Kind of strange, but I'm not gonna lie, it, it's not bad. I wouldn't order it again, but it was pretty good. I think it's probably better without the queso. Sometimes you just gotta go crazy. Put some queso on my, my cheesy double stack.
Get. I'm going crazy over here. And I think I might go crazy if I have to eat Wendy's. Eat, well, I'll be fine for one more. If I had to eat, had to eat Wendy's for two more days, I'd go crazy. But um, unfortunately, I only have one more day. So I'll see you tomorrow for the final day. Bring me some sweet corn. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the final day seven of Wendy's. To celebrate the final day seven of Wendy's, I will go over Wendy's top three tweets of all time. Number three, we just filled up on mom's spaghetti and we're ready to battle. That's a classic one. Number two, Twitter says, tweet, tweet. Wendy says, tweet, eat. Twitter says, repeat. Wendy says, yeet. And number one, wubba lubba grub grub. Welcome to Morty's. Thank you for joining me for this video. I love you. We have day three of Wendy's. They have two special sandwiches that they're advertising right now. If you go to the Wendy's, there's the pretzel baconator, which we did, or we tried to do. It didn't get the pretzel bun. Spoiler alert, I actually forgot to order the pretzel bun this time, so we didn't get the pretzel bun at all at any point. Oops. But I did get the other special sandwich that they've been advertising. We'll get to that in a second, but first, I got a Frosty. It was admittedly a little tempting, uh, hard to not get a Frosty every single day that I went to Wendy's, but I did just get it today. I showed some restraint. Obviously, I got the chocolate, not the vanilla. My frosty has like teeth marks on it. Look at that. What the hell is that? Just kidding. That was me. <laughs> what a troll. Yeah, I may or may not have been, uh, my frosty in the car while I was driving with my off hands. Mmm. Mmm! That's good. You know Wendy's Frosties are good because they're too thick, even though it's been out for a good while now. Too thick to get through the straw. Mmm. Come on. Luckily, there is another way to eat the Frosty. The iconic. Get the french fry into the Frosty. You look how melted this is, and it's still like, I can't get it to go. Ooh, can't get it to go through. That's also another good way. Just mm. put the straw in and pull it out. Oh my God. I'm not doing that on purpose. This desk is so sticky. You know, I actually bought this desk to write on, like physically. Mostly I just eat fast food on it though. That's pretty much what it's mostly used for in reality. That and building Legos. Needs a good stir. There we go. Oh yeah. You know, I feel like I remember that being good, but it's not great. <laughs> no, it's not bad. I feel like french fries dipped into your shake or your frosty or whatever it is. The fries need to be hot. Otherwise, it's not nearly as satisfying. Slightly room temperature fries dipped in the frosty? I'll pass on it. You gotta eat the frosty with a spoon anyway. You start with the straw, then you get frustrated, and then you switch to the spoon. Mmm, that's so good. Ugh. I would never personally get the vanilla frosty when they have the chocolate. I would try the strawberry one though, but that's like a thing they only have every now and then. All right, so it is time for the final burger. I am a little disappointed, I forgot. They didn't give it to me the first time, the pretzel bun. This time I just forgot to ask for it, so I apologize. I did get this sandwich, I think it'll be good. This is the loaded nacho chicken sandwich. Let me double check what it's called. The loaded nacho chicken. A juicy, lightly breaded chicken breast, American cheese, hot and crispy corn, and tortilla chips. I thought they were onions. I guess that kind of makes sense if it's if it's queso on top of it. Spicy chipotle sauce? Ooh, I didn't even know it had that. Mm. Poblano queso, lettuce, and tomatoes on a jalapeno cheddar bun. Everything you want in chicken nachos in a single sandwich. So this should hopefully be good. I think it might be. They gave me the spicy uh, chicken, I think. I didn't even realize that was an option, but they asked me. I said spicy, so hopefully this is actually the correct sandwich. I had to go to a different Wendy's this time, and, and I couldn't really understand what they were saying. But I'm pretty sure we got it right. Ooh, I get the cinematic shot. <laughs> you guys like that? Shit. <laughs> this is a nice cinematic blurry background reveal. Look at this. Oh. Well, it's just getting my face, though. That's the problem. Ah. Cinematic. Yeah, there's little pieces of corn. Look at that. <laughs> They're like uh, corn nuts on this sandwich. I try to keep my desk looking slightly clean while I'm doing these videos, but uh, it's gotten a little ridiculous over here. I, I have the leftover sauces, all the napkins from the frosty that spilled. This is a disaster. But let's just pretend that that stuff's not there. Wow, look how nice it is here. Oh, well, move the cord. Wow, it's a professional. It's basically a professional, basically a professional video now. This actually looks kind of nuts. This bun, there's a lot of Chipotle sauce on this. I'm going in right there with all that. 
Chipotle sauce. Damn, that is a very strong queso flavor. Way more than I was expecting. It was actually kind of good. Very cheesy. And I'm glad, I guess, I didn't ask for the pretzel bun. I didn't even realize this came with its own bun, so that wasn't even a good idea. I should have done the pretzel bun on something else, but hey, you'll live, you'll learn. Give me another bite of this. There was a corn nut. Let's get another one. Everything I want on my chicken, queso, nachos, I, I will, I refuse. I refuse to eat nachos that don't have corn nuts on them. This is actually kind of better than I was expecting, especially if I, after I had the cheesy cheeseburger yesterday, which had the queso on it. It tasted okay when I was eating it, but it was one of those things, it was either that or the chili, where afterwards I was like, I don't know, I feel a little weird. Like, I don't really like, I didn't really like that. As you're eating, it was good. After the fact, not so much. This actually does taste a lot better. It tastes a lot more queso-y. It doesn't have mustard and ketchup mixed in. Very saucy. Another very messy sandwich. I will say the corn nuts, I don't eat those. You can take the corn nuts out. Why are they in there? Keep the corn chips, the corn nuts, no. Look at, there's so much queso on this thing. Dripping off the back. The bread is very good too. It's it's uh, unique to this sandwich. It's got peppers in it and stuff. Obviously it has cheese on the top. The corn nuts are so weird, they taste stale. It's the only thing I don't like about it. Well, that and the fact that it's so messy. That is not bad at all. Very, it's kind of weird, uh, but not as weird as the as the cheesy cheddar burger from yesterday. I can see why that was on the secret menu. A little spicy, not too crazy. Get a little frosty. Yeah, ice cream. Yeah. Uh, one bowl. Frosty with a coffee, great combo. The actual Wendy's Frosty Coffee, terrible. All right, I'll go over some kind of final thoughts here. I'll do my little my little tier list as well. Okay, so I'll start from day one and work our way back. First, we had the Baconator. I'm just gonna put that on an S tier. I was not expecting that. I would have never normally ordered that. It's just like so heavy, but it was delicious. I might actually have to get that again at some point. S tier. Wendy's French fries, honestly, S tier too. I'm putting them at S. I think they're really, really good. As long as you eat them while they're hot. They aren't quite as good room temperature, but still better than McDonald's fries room temperature S tier. Unfortunately, I think it gets a little bit worse from uh, day one. We kind of started strong, uh, worked our way down. The ghost pepper ranch chicken was not bad though. That was an A, I think. It was just a little too wet. That was my only problem with it. The queso fries were not bad. I think I would have rather had just the regular cheese fries than, than the fries with the queso and the cheese on top. I'll put that at a B. The breakfast though. Oh, the croissant sandwich F tier. That was not good at all. I I've been thinking about that every single day since I ate it and how bad it was. I actually think I don't like sausage anymore. I just don't think I like it anymore. Sausage is, I'm done with sausage. The frosty chocolate coffee, I'll put it at D, just above F. Only barely, because I did keep drinking some of it. It was almost good enough to trick me to thinking it was good, even though it wasn't. The grilled chicken wrap, that's also an F tier. Literally no point ordering that. Just buy a tortilla and some chicken and throw it in a tortilla. It needed some salsa or like hot sauce or something. That's what I decided. It had nothing red in it at all. It was just iceberg lettuce and chicken that had too much pepper on it. And there was supposedly cheese in there in theory, but I barely could see any. The lemonade. I don't even remember the lemonade that well. The, uh, it was all right. It was B, I guess. It's so sweet. I don't usually drink lemonade. The taste is not that great to me, but I think other people would like it. I'll put it at B or C or whatever I just said. I don't know. Toasty, you take your pick. The spicy chicken nuggets. It's hard to know where to place those because mostly I just want the sauce. If I rank them kind of based off of other places, chicken, definitely better than McDonald's, but not as good as something like Chick-fil-A or anything like that. Not even close. I'll say C. Their sauces, I think, are mid. And I don't even mean that in like, oh, it's mid. <laughs> LOL, like, I just, like, literally, yeah, they're, they're, like, kind of baseline, not bad, not terrible, but not amazing either. If they still had the creamy sriracha, I would put it at S. I actually would. I would just launch it straight at S just for that, but they don't. So I'll say B. The cheesy cheddar burger on the secret menu, I'll just throw it at C. It's something you couldn't experience if you want. But even Wendy herself is kind of ashamed of it. She doesn't want you to know about it. The chili cheese baked potato, I'm gonna have to give that a D. No, an F. F at the top of F. Made me feel weird after. The chili is sus. F. The frosty, that's an S tier. Gotta go, go. I gotta go S tier for this frosty, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh. The loaded nacho cheeseburger. What do I do with you? I think you can join the other the other spicy chicken sandwich at an A. Lose those, the little corns. Lose the corns. So yeah, overall, not bad. I feel like I was kind of surprised that I didn't like some of the items as much as I was thinking because I generally really do like Wendy's. I think if you go to Wendy's, you're kind of safe just getting like a regular cheeseburger. They have really good cheeseburgers. Their fries are really solid. I think when they kind of branch out to these extra things, they're a little more hit or miss. But I did discover a few things that I might order again in the future, especially the Baconator. I would have never have gotten that. Thanks so much for watching these one week videos guys it really means a lot that you guys are digging these so much if you want to see more make sure you like and subscribe check out another one i got the one on uh, taco bell if you want another fast food place or we got uh, lunchables or even frozen pizza maybe i'll just put them all up here see you guys next time bye bye